Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Oprah just shared her bigoted thoughts about all white people she'd like America to know right now. The mainstream news media, pop culture, social media, and many other outlets are steadily pushing a narrative of white America and what it is about. Many of these outlets perpetuate the myth that white people are responsible for all that ails the world and this is a narrative that is peddled on college campuses across the nation. Identity politics and reverse racism, along with the idea of so-called white privilege. A privilege that insinuates that for some reason the only race ever enslaved or oppressed has to do with the amount of melanin one possesses when history, accurate history that is, tells a very different story. Stores of Irish slavery or the largest lynching in American history perpetrated against Sicilians in 1891 are never discussed or dismissed as irrelevant amid cries of racism. The news is full of interviews of black mothers expressing their concern with the idea that her son could potentially be gunned down indiscriminately by a white cop and they ask, what do I tell my little boy? Honestly? Teach that young man to be a man of worth and that his identity is not found in the amount of melanin in his skin. Teach him that the world is his for the taking rather than the world is out to get him. Do not raise a perpetual victim. Do not peddle to him the lie that he has to work ten times as hard to get to where he wants, just teach him to work hard, period. Racists are created, not born, and while yes there are ignorant individuals in this world, you are responsible for you and your reaction. You are not responsible for them. Their opinion does not define you. There is no ism greater than his God-given talents. Teach him that his history does not begin and end with slavery nor is that all that defines his race. Make him believe in the future, a successful future full of possibilities that is his for the taking, not just the monotonous regurgitations of a catered black history centered around victimhood and identity politics. Teach him that character, integrity, education, and relentless work are the answers to success. Tell him that his environment, no matter how detrimental, does not determine his value, nor does his skin color. Be honest, look him in the eyes and tell him that statistically, he has a significantly higher chance of being gunned down by another black male than he ever will by a cop. You want to empower a black child? Tell him the truth and while you are in it, tell him not to vote for those who expect his ballot on account of the color of his skin. Tell him not to listen to the racism and victimhood peddled by some of the more prominent members of the black community, such as Oprah Winfrey. The billionaire media mogul had some shocking thoughts about what she thought about all white people during an interview on CBS this morning. Oprah spoke with co-host Nora O'Donnell about the impact of The Oprah Winfrey Show, which aired from 1986 to 2011. Through the course of the interview Oprah revealed that prior to hosting the show and meeting actual white people, she had thought all white people live perfect lives. Oprah stated, The first time we did a show on alcoholism and there was a family of five and I was like, oh, my god. I didn't know that white people had dysfunction, because I grew up thinking that all white people were like, ah, uh, leave it to beaver. And so the first time I started having conversations with people with real dysfunctions, with real family issues from all parts of the country, it was a revelation to me. While on the surface her statement seems fairly innocuous, she merely kept it real by revealing the stereotypes of white people she had allowed herself to believe, however inaccurate they may be. Except if a white person were to reveal the same thoughts regarding the evolution of their prior belief and stereotypes concerning black people? They would be touted as a racist for all the world to see and skewered on the nightly news and every mass media publication for months and even years after the fact. American celebrity chef and cooking show television host Paula Dean is case in point. In 2013 through the course of depositions in a lawsuit from a former employee Dean revealed that she used a racial slur some 20 years prior after being robbed at gunpoint by a black man. As a result, Dean lost her cooking show and most of her corporate partners. Can you imagine if say, Roseanne for instance, stated in an interview and stated something of that nature? Or God forbid a white individual remarked that prior to meeting real blacks, he or she had thought they were all malt liquor chugging fools or thugs from the hood? Many black comedians depict themselves as just that on television. It seems an honest conversation about race is simply no longer possible in this day and age because the price of honesty is the significant backlash that follows whenever a white person chooses to breach the boundaries of political correctness by simply keeping it real. A white person is not afforded the opportunity to be honest in the first place and racism is cried at even the most innocuous of statements. Black activist Brandy Miller insists that it is contingent on white people to be quiet and know your place for race relations to advance in America. In other words, sit down, shut up, and deal with whatever we choose to dish out. Miller's appalling attitude pervades the leftist progressive thought process and there are many others like her that rather than equality, 
prefer superiority and subjugation of white people as a whole. This same strategy is being used to silence men, heterosexuals, and Christians alike. The recent ruling in the Masterpiece Cake Shop case by the Supreme Court is case in point. Some are speculating just when the white genocide currently prevalent in countries like South Africa will visit America and others believe it is not far off. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.